Today we're talking about dog attacks and I love walking, I love going for hikes. I think walking, especially barefoot, is one of the best activities that you can do for your health. But I always make sure to carry either a pocket knife on me or a stick such as a club one that's not this big or a full hiking staff so I can protect myself against dogs. I have been attacked by dogs in the past and it sucks. Um, many people, when they think of dogs, they're like, oh, look at this little guy. He's so cute. Yeah, it's a cute German Shepherd. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> that's a cute uh, lab. Um, here are some images of what labs have done when they have attacked other people. Like, they might not look like a giant, uh, I don't know what the heck this thing is, as you can tell, I'm a cat person, but um, yeah, I mean, dogs are useful, but like, you have to remember that that animal is a descendant of the wolf and a lot of the breeds have been made for protection it's only in recent years that they've become more house animals and been brought inside so i always make sure i either have a nice big staff on me i mean bear spray would also be a good example but like hiking safety is something that not a lot of people take into account and i think is highly worth investing in even if you just go out in your backyard cut down a stick that's uh, I mean, at least an inch in diameter at the top and about two inches in diameter. Um, inch, in, inch in diameter at the bottom, two inches at the top. Nice sturdy stick that has some weight to it. I mean, if you're a smaller female, bear spray. Uh, it's just common sense for when you're out in the woods. Even hiking parks and stuff, like just having this stuff in your purse because you never know when someone's dog is off the leash just playing around and then joins up with one of its buddies and another buddy and now it's a pack. And a pack of dogs will do things that a domesticated dog would never do by itself. It kind of emboldens them. Here's a video of uh, a dog attack happening at a random time. So this one is actually protecting him. That's his dog. You see the neighbor's dog just coming in, bolting, running. Like, Luckily, he had a dog to protect him, but like, that dog would have maimed him and just sprinted out of the yard. You never know when they're friendly and when they're not, and having a nice big stick or some bear spray is awfully helpful and gives you peace of mind at night, especially during the dark walks I like taking when you barely have any light at all. I find it very peaceful and meditative, but I mean, that thing would have ripped its face off. Then we have uh, this story, and I mean, this woman could have highly benefited from having some bear spray. <laughs> so this is a pit bull attacking her little dog. A woman dog. says she was walking her Shih Tzu last week when a pit bull ran out of nowhere and started attacking her pet. Surveillance video shows the woman trying to separate the dogs, but she falls to the floor and then can't get back up. At one point, the owner of the pit bull comes out and starts yelling at his dog, making the pit bull go away. The woman took her Shih Tzu to the vet, but it later died. The pit bull owner told police. Hey, let's just watch that again. Falls a down woman once, says she was walking her Shih Tzu last twice. week when a pit bull ran out of nowhere and started oh, attacking three her times. pet. Surveillance video like, shows the woman trying to separate the dog. She falls wake up to the call floor to get and then can't get back up. At one shape, point, the owner so of the pit bull comes out and starts yelling at his dog, making like the pit bull go away. Like the woman took her shih tzu to the vet, like, but it later died. So bad on the pit bull owner told the police a family member so, who was visiting like, left the bad for you, bad for your balance, that you can't actually even right yourself when danger is near. I mean, it's just a horrible situation to put yourself in, even though most people don't think about this. They think, oh, what if my airplane comes crashing down? If I look up the statistics, which I'll do in a minute, but I'm sure you're more likely to get attacked by a dog than to die in an airplane crash. Yeah, let's look at this. You're much more likely to get attacked by a dog than to die in an airplane crash. Here's a breakdown of the odds. Dog attacks. According to the CDC and various safety organizations, around 4.5 million bites occur each year in the U.S. alone. Approximately 800,000 require medical attention, but fatal dog attacks are rare, around 30 to 50 um, fatalities annually. Airplane, airplane crashes, air travel um, is one of the safest modes of transportation. The odds of dying in a crash are about 1 in 11 million. Commercial aviation accidents that result in fatalities are extremely rare, with air travel statistics showing fewer than 500 fatalities globally in recent years. So that's compounded over 
a couple of years across the whole world for airplane crashes versus 30 to 40 fatalities in the U.S. alone with 800,000 attacks. I mean, we could go back to that other image of that child who is now going to be, like, have a scar for life unless they undergo major plastic surgery. Like, even if not for yourself, just like for your kids or for your own dog you're walking, you should have the means to protect them. You should have bear spray. You should have a staff in order to attack other dogs. Like, 4.5 million attacks. That's a huge number. I mean, granted, there's 300 million people in the U.S., so you have like a 1 in 100 chance of getting attacked by a dog each year, which pretty much means it's going to happen at least once in your life. I mean, I got attacked by a dog two months ago. Freaking thing bit my ankle. Um, yeah, let's go back to another video. So here's a mother loading some stuff into the car, and this dog just right in the face. Comes out, kicks it. I mean, she's lucky that the dog didn't start... Is he attacking her? Yeah! A now. horrifying dog attack caught on camera. In Texas, Shantae Wright. Okay, let's see if we have a better chance this time. A horrifying dog, dog attack on her. camera she kicks in it Texas. off. Shantae Wright. Again, Wright I just keep kicking that dog. Two-year-old son CJ from the jaws of a stray. I would literally just. I couldn't even keep kicking it and kicking it and kicking it until it ran away. Um, I mean, me personally, I would have just jumped on SPAC and like choked it out. But that's only because I've been training martial arts for ten years and I have actual like experience choking people out and unlike a person a dog can't like reach behind what <laughs> a dog can't reach behind itself so once you have its back I mean you can pretty much do whatever you want as long as you don't get bit but like yeah dog attacks they happen they are uh, very common and more common than you think and if this isn't an argument for why people should have some means of defending themselves firearms you need the training, but a firearm is a good choice. Granted, you're going to make some of your neighbors pissed off if uh, their dog comes up to you and it's not actually attacking you, but it might look like it. And they're like, oh, no, he's fine. He's friendly. And you see this thing charging at you, and you're like, uh, I don't think he's friendly. You shoot it. Might not be the best. Um, bear spray. That's why I say bear spray is actually a very good thing to use for these situations because you just pepper spray on the eye. You're most likely not going to kill it. It doesn't matter as much if you accidentally like friendly fire on your own kid. It's going to suck for them, but it's going to be a lot better than getting hospitalized with just scars all over their face. Uh, it's a less permanent one. They sell those like the salt BB pellets that you can shoot. It's like a paintball that blows up. I'm not sure how well that would work. A paintball gun might be def might be decent, but it's hard to put that in your purse or pocket. Bear spray is good, pocket knife is good, but you need the size. I mean, I'm 184, 510, and against a dog with a knife, I would put my odds at like if it really wanted to attack me, at being able to kill it after I received at least a couple bites on my forearm like i don't know best case scenario come out without a single bite worst case scenario i'm dead somewhere in the middle that i think is more likely is i put my arm out like this it bites my arm and i stab it in the neck a couple times but I got, my forearm is going to be infected i'm gonna have to take like 13 shots in the ass for, at the hospital and it's just not a pleasant idea big like a hiking stick you can You'll get a couple of weird looks when you walk with it in the city, but I do it. Like, you can carry a hiking stick with you pretty much wherever you want to go. People aren't necessarily going to assume that's a weapon. They're going to think you're a little eccentric, a little quirky, but you just carry it and it comes at you. Bam. I mean, I would recommend getting a feel for it, getting a feel for taking a couple of swings with it. Um, but even that, I mean, that's size dependent. Like, I don't know, some females I know wouldn't be able to do it. Call me sexist, but, like, they're 120, 130. You put a stick in their hands, and they have a twin. <laughs> no. uh, uh, you put a stick in their hands, and, I mean, they're just not going to be able to generate the force required to actually deal with an animal attacking them. They're not used to the aggression of it, which is why I come back to 
bear spray is good. You can get it for cheap. I wouldn't go pepper spray because you want something with a little bit more range. Pepper spray, it's like, I checked last night, it's like five feet. You want something with like 10 to 15 feet range so you can really start spraying it before it gets to you. Because when it starts sprinting, that like five feet at a sprint, it's probably going to bite you before it feels like the stinging in its eyes. Like how quickly it can like, traverse that distance is insane. Anyways, peace out and stay safe.